Okay, so there ain't gonna be no daily vlog today because it's just been pretty much a wasted day today. Running here and there and here and there and here and there. I went over to the vinyl job where I was working at yesterday and I only got to work about an hour. So didn't really get anything accomplished over there. Just scraped over my floor prep and cut door jams and got it cleaned up. And that was basically it. So, uh, what I was talking about earlier, boy, I hope this is, uh, I hope this, hope this, <laughs> I hope this video turns out okay. I am traveling down the road and I got my little uh, Joby spider mount or whatever you want to call it strapped over here to my uh, hand grip. So I hope the video turns out okay. I hope the road noise is not too much where it's going to distort the sound and just make it sound all awful. Anyway, um, what I was talking about earlier with the pricing. Let me get a little bit more detailed about that since we're, uh, I'm not rushed, I'm not on the job and stuff like that. Um, quality, every installer is different, okay? And I'm not saying some installers are just straight out dirty, you know? Their work is crap and they do it intentionally, which, I mean, it is a fact. There are people like that. But there are also those guys out there that do crap work and they are honestly striving to do the best they can they just don't know so um it's going to seem a little unfair to maybe to those guys right there that are honestly mentally thinking that they are doing the uh a great job and they're doing the best they can they just don't know to do a better job so with that in mind and with the absolutely striving installers the ones that do go out there and give it their all they uh go the extra mile all the time and 100 percent make sure that everything is good that everybody is happy and they honestly do a great job those are very very few and far in between for those kind of guys but those kind of guys also make the same amount of money as the guys that run around these apartments and kicking stuff in so uh is that fair absolutely not we are not we installers it goes for any line any work period some people just do better than others um if we was out there working at mcdonald's or or working in a factory or whatever people always get rewarded they get raises we're doing a better job it's just how the world works if you do a better job you make more money guess what it's not like that with us for whatever reason for whatever reason the uh, industry has got every installer on the same level on the same pay rate that's absolutely not right like I said any other any other work out there if you do good, you make more money. So uh, I can kind of see where it's coming from, from the store owner's point of view, because uh, they want to bid a job. They want to say, hey, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We can do this job uh, $5 a yard or $6 a yard or $3 a yard or whatever they charge. And it's covered with no matter who they send out there. Again, the problem with that is some of these guys out there are doing super awesome work. Some of the guys out there are fly-by-nighters. You know what I'm saying? Bang it out with a knee kicker. So it's it's not fair on the guys that do a good job. It kills their motivation to do a good job. They absolutely do not feel important and they do not feel valued for all the extra stuff that they do on the job. It is absolutely a killer it literally it kills their motivation and their uh, enthusiasms for the job I promise you, I've been there I struggle with it myself you take Joe that does a great job 100% does phenomenal work everything is a-okay if an inspector come in all his work would pass because he does it like he's supposed to and he even does better than he's supposed to. So you take that guy, 
He's all the time harping at you because he wants to make more money. He's saying it ain't fair. I make the same amount of money as these guys banging it in with a knee kicker. I'm going broke because I do all this extra stuff to, to try to do the best I can and I can't get as much work done. It's not fair. It just absolutely ain't fair. I know it might sound like I'm crying a little bit, but I am. <laughs> it's all over the place. It's all over the world. In America, especially. The good installers is not rewarded for being good. The good installers actually suffer. They take a huge pay cut because they do a good job. That is completely opposite. I'm going to throw this out there like I did earlier, okay? I'm just going to use myself, okay? You guys don't get crazy with this and think I've been all arrogant or anything like that. It's just a lot easier for me to talk if I could just put myself in this place, okay? So, if I say, hey, I want to make uh, $9 a yard on regular plush carpet. If there's a pattern, I want to jump it up to $11 a yard on regular carpet. And uh, he's like, okay, we'll do that. I'm like, okay, cool. So check it out. Now what he has to do, the store owner, the salesman, whoever, he's got to tell the clients whenever he's bidding the job. Again, it goes back to reading your clients. Any salesman has got that ability. They should have or they shouldn't be a salesman, okay? Uh, and you obviously, if you're a, a store owner, you got the same repeat customers that want apartments done, that want rental properties done. You pretty much already know who's going to expect what out of their jobs. So, you don't want to send this guy over here that wants $11 a yard for this pattern carpet or $9 a yard for a regular push when the client only wants somebody to come in and bang it out. You want to send this other guy that's going to come in there and bang it out and you can pay him $4, $4 a yard, okay? It's a win-win for everybody. This guy here, he's getting all the jobs that he can go in and bang out without hurting anybody, without doing anything. He don't have to step up his game because a, a client's going to get aggravated or mad because uh, the carpet's wrinkling up or the seams ain't perfect. It don't matter. They're rental people, rental properties, landlords, apartments. They don't care. They just want it clean. So it'll take stress off of them guys that's done that kind of work. If they have stress, you got to have a little bit of uh, moral got to have a little bit of conscience about doing bad work before you get stressed out over doing bad work. So, I don't know if it'll stress them out, cause any less stress, because probably ain't getting no stress. But anyway, uh, it's going to be right up their alley. They're going to be like, hey, I got all these brand new houses, or I got all these apartments. I can go bang out real fast, and I don't have to worry about callbacks, because these people don't care. They're going to love that, okay? On the other hand, you got the guys wanting 9 10 $11 a yard. We don't even want to deal with that. It's going to do us both a favor. It's going to do the hacks a favor, and it's going to do us good installers a favor. To send them hacks on out there, okay? Let them have all that stuff at $4 a yard. On the other hand, you got clients that want a pristine job in their home. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't want that hack work. Homeowners, especially 50 years old and up, they want a great job. Okay? Most of them people don't care what it costs, to an extent. If they know they're going to get an absolutely great job, they're not going to have an issue paying what you want. Nobody is. How, how many times have you, just put yourself right there, okay? How many times have you had something done, somebody does a phenomenal job, okay? And they charge you, and you're like, oh, oh, that's too much, okay? No. So if the store owner, the retailer, will judge the client, put the installer to fit the client, okay? That's basically what I'm saying. Different clients deserve different installers. You don't want to mix everybody in the same pool because it's definitely 
some people don't take a bath and they don't want to pollute the water for these people over here that bathe all the time. You know what I'm saying? So don't put everybody in the same pool. Everybody's not different. Everybody works different. A client that wants their home done properly are not messed up with paying. 